Hi there, it's me, Teacher Jolly. Ang inyong ditcherelang lingkod. Welcome to another video. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. This video is still part of the Get That Job playlist. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood, iba ko pang mga videos. I-click mo na yung playlist na yan, Get That Job. Listen and take down notes. Doon sa unang video natin, pinag-usapan paano sasagutin ang Tell me about yourself. For this video, we'll discuss how to answer the question What is your weakness? So, isa ito ano, sa medyo tricky at mahirap sagutin na tanong. Bakit? Kasi sa job interview, you want to be your best. You want to be your best self. You want to step your best foot forward. But then, tinanong ka, What is your weakness? Answering this question is like exposing yourself. Yung kumbaga sa Tagalog, parang ibubuking mo yung sarili mo, di ba? Parang ganun yung mapifeel mo. And if you come to an interview unprepared, hindi mo naisip na itatanong sa ito, nako, malamang sa malamang ay mag-stutter tayo or hindi natin ma-identify kung ano yung weakness natin. Worst, sabihin natin, I don't think I have a weakness. Wrong! <laughs> Walang taong ganon, okay? Kahit yung boss mo may weakness yan. Kaya, it's very important that you are self-aware. Alam mo, alam mo, i-identify ang inyong strength. At alam mo rin i-identify ang inyong weakness. So, there's a trick on how to answer this question. If you want to know how, just keep on watching. Pero ito, konting tip muna. Unang-una sa lahat, pag tinanong ka ng ganitong tanong, Wag kang magsinungaling. Wag kang magsinungaling. Wag mong isipin na mauputakan mo yung interviewer mo o your employer mo, okay? Isipin mo na hindi ikaw ang una niyang interviewee. Isipin mo na yung interviewer mo na yan might have interviewed hundreds of other applicants at different times. So, okay, iba-ibang panahon, iba-ibang taon, maraming marami na siyang na-meet, na-interview we. So, don't you dare lie. Dahil mahuhuli at mahuhuli ka at mapapahiya ka lang. Okay? Huwag maging dishonest sa iyong sagot. It's not a good way to leave a first impression to your future boss or to your future HR. So, ano ang mga common mistakes? Ano yung mga common na maling isagot? Number one. Uh, you know what, ma'am? I'm really into overtime work. Yung tipong gusto ko po talaga. Lagi ako nang work. Nang nanginginig talaga ako mo na akong ginagawa. Mga ganong sagot, di ba? Yung sinasabi, Workaholic! Yung mga ganyan. Yung addict daw sa trabaho. Alam mo sa sarili mo na hindi totoo yan. At more importantly, alam din ng iyong interviewer or employer na hindi totoo yan dahil hindi pa siya naka-encounter ng ganyang klaseng employee. So, red flag number one! Sana lang maliligwa ka na sis. Kaya wag na wag mong isasagot yan. Second na common na maling sagot. Um, sir, I am a perfectionist. Yung gusto ko po talaga lahat perfect. Yung working environment ko perfect. Yung mga outputs ko po talagang perfect. Talagang walang mali kahit isa lahat. Lahat perfect, magaling. Yung gusto ko po talaga walang masasabi sa akin. First of all, kahit ako ang pinakamabait na tao sa buong Pilipinas, may masasabi at may masasabi sa'yo ang ibang tao. At second, even the boss makes mistake. So, hindi issue sa boss mo kung hindi perfect na perfect ang iyong gawa on the first try. There's always a room for improvement naman for everyone. Hindi issue yon na you make mistakes sometimes. Ang issue ay kung dishonest ka. Pero alam mo, may, meron talagang mga perfectionist na tao, no? At for me, it's not really a weakness dahil yung mga taong detail-oriented, gusto lang talaga nila pulido yung kanilang ginagawa. Kaya wag mong i-frame na weakness yan. So, how to frame your answer? Tip number one, talk about a certain skill 
that can still be improved something that can still be developed okay skill hindi personality again not your personality but a certain skill skill is something that can be enhanced can be can be developed through training through mentoring coaching ganon so hindi ka maglala hindi ka masisinungaling talagang kailangan mong i-identify yung weakness mo na yon sa isang skill so for example you are applying as an events host okay sa isang events organizing company may ganon de ba yung mga nag mc sa mga debut sa mga wedding anniversary ganyan events host. So, kung nare, yun yung iyong ina-applyan. And, on the day of your interview, you were asked, what is your weakness? So, you have to really identify. Prior to the day of your interview, you have to really know, ano yung weakness mo? Ano yung skill na kailangan mo pang improve Medyo hindi ka dun magaling. Okay? So, example, dahil nga host ka, MC, magaling ka talaga sa speaking, no? But, you feel na, it, alam mo na, medyo nahihirapan ka sa writing. Hindi ka marunong magsulat ng mga formal letters, may konting problema ka sa script writing. Kapag sinabi mo na ayun ang problema mo sa iyong interviewer, in the mind of your interviewer, isipin niya, shh, that's so minimal. This person can still be trained. Meron kaming letter templates, meron kaming script writing templates, at napakadaling i-address ng kanyang weakness. Ayun yung tumatakbo sa isip ng iyong employer. Ah, it's something that's fixable. Meaning, hindi iyon magiging big deal sa iyong employer because your employer knows that your weakness is something that can still be improved and developed. Tip number two, talk about what have you been doing to improve on that weakness. Sabihin mo, ikwento mo, what have you been doing to improve that weakness. Sabihin mo kung uma-attend ka ba ng certain seminars, nag-enroll ka ba sa isang online course about script writing or about letter writing or nagbasa ka ba ng libro. Sabihin mo yung mga hakbang na ginawa mo para ma-improve yung iyong weakness. Hala ma'am, paano po yun kung talagang wala po akong ginawa para i-address yung weakness ko na yun? That's okay. Just be honest. Sabihin mo, tip number three, express your willingness to learn or to improve on that certain weakness. Kung nga rin ka, wala ka pang ginawa about it, okay? It's okay, just be honest and sabihin mo, express mo yung willingness mo na matuto, na matrain, na ma-mentor ng kanilang company or ng iyong boss. Kasi alam nyo, ang hinahanap po ngayon ng mga employers and HR yan ay hindi naman po yung Einstein level intelligence at hindi rin yung super super achiever. Ang hinahanap po nilang employees ngayon ay yung mga taong trainable. Yung mga taong nag-express ng willingness to improve. Willingness to be mentored. At yung mga tao na open for feedback and constructive criticisms. So ma'am, paano yung way ng pagsagot natin dyan? So example, ako yon yung nag apply bilang events host and tinanong ako, what is your weakness? Ganito yung example na pwede natin sabihin. Well, I have a lot of thoughts, a lot of ideas, a lot of words in my head. Well, my weakness is it's hard for me to write down what's in my head. I don't really know the letter formats, same with script writing. I have a difficulty in arranging my lines. But what I've been doing is I'm watching YouTube videos related to, to that concern of mine. And also, I'm asking my friends to help me out, those friends who are in the writing field. I'm still in the process of working on that and I'll be very grateful if I'm going to receive advice from you and if I'm going to be trained by your company. Sinabi natin yung totoo, saan tayo mahina. Sinabi natin yung mga hakbang na ginagawa natin para ma-improve yung ating weakness na yon sa ating skill, na ating personality. And also, um, sinabi natin yung willingness natin na matuto pa at matrain. Sana may natutunan kayo. May natutunan ba kayo? Sana may natutunan kayo. And if you learned something from this, if you gained certain insights, Please feel free to share this video to your friends. Na alam mo yung nagahanap din ng trabaho. 
please comment down below any questions that you would want us to answer next time and also comment niyo na rin yung inyong mga job interview bloopers yan yung mga job interview experiences niyo na nakakatawa kahit ito yung mga naging problema niyo ang mga naging anxiety niyo and i'm very excited to hear and read all of that i'll see you on my next video bye bye